My name is Parish Bias. I'm a haematologist in Oxford. Today I'm going to talk about Down syndrome acute myeloid leukemia. Sadly, newborn babies and young children with Down syndrome have an increased predisposition to leukemia, particularly acute myeloid leukemia. And what we've shown is that up to 30% of newborn babies with Down syndrome have acquired a genetic change in a key blood gene called GATA1. This gene and its protein product regulates blood cell production. So we can detect this change at birth. And the good story is that 70% of babies will not have this, and so therefore do not need to worry about ever having AML. But for the 30% that do, a follow-up blood test done at three months is usually negative. Only in a small proportion of babies will it still remain positive. So again, for those where the blood test becomes negative, they will not develop AML. And this is really important in clinical practice because it now narrows down the small number of babies every year that are born that are then almost certainly likely to get AML, but the vast majority will not. And for those babies who retain that change in GATA1, they acquire further additional genetic changes, and now we've identified the whole constellation of what those changes are. And this then allows us to think in the future about developing very specific targeted therapy, which is less toxic for these babies. And in the paper we published last year, we showed that a drug called roxolitinib, which is a tablet, may be very helpful for some of these babies. So we've made a lot of progress in the last few years, and we hope to make even more progress by identifying new safer medicines to treat these babies.